hello everyone so welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is aditya and in this particular video we'll be learning about dimension measures in tableau and how we can represent dimension and measure in a canvas like if you want to represent them as a header or you want to represent as a continuous field we can do that and we'll be also identifying what is the difference between green pill and the blue pill in tableau so let us if you have not subscribed to our channel yet and you are watching my video from a long period of time then do hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon for the notification so now let us jump directly into my screen and see what is the key difference between the two terminology and how we can how we can play with it in tableau so i hope you guys are excited by now so let's directly jump into it so let us try to understand what are dimension and measures and how we can represent them in tableau so basically like whenever you are starting your journey with tableau so these two terms will be hearing a lot or you should be knowing about these terms when you are deep diving into tableau and you are making some reports or dashboards so you should know this basic meaning of these two terms because these are the backbone of tableau you can say so now let us try to understand what are these two terms so so now whenever we are connecting a data set to tableau so you can see the super store data set has been loaded here so in the data pane you can see like whenever we are connecting a data set so the data set will be divided into two parts which are separated by this line if you can see so the ones which are above the lines are known as dimensions and the ones which are below this line are known as measures okay so on and on the right hand side you can see like there is a canvas right where your data will be represented okay so how your data will be represented depends upon what are fields you given rows and column shelves so you can see like there are two pills so one is the green pill and one is the blue pill right so now you can see whenever we are suppose we have dragged the sub category field into the row shelf so you can see it has converted into the blue pill and the blue pill sub category is providing us an the heading of the sub category and the different labels which the sub category hold like the tables phones chairs accessories right and the sum of sales is producing us the green pill and the green pill and the green pill is producing us an axis you can see the sales number are represented in the form of bar chart right so it is producing us an axis so the blue pill you can also take it as a discrete field like the unique field and the green pill can be considered as the continuous field okay so now what we have seen so far is so the green pill produces an axis right and this is a continuous field like changing with respect to time and the blue pill produces us an header or label and this is the discrete field like the unique field okay it can be a number also in this case it is like the sub different sub category but number can also be discrete right so this is the basic overview of tableau workspace so i hope you are clear with that so now let us try to understand one by one so let us start with the measures field first and try to understand what does measures means okay so let me go to another slide so you can see i have listed down the basic properties of measures so basically whatever we can aggregate is known as measure okay and it should be a quantitative field like a number field like a money is there so that's a quantitative field right the average money spent or the total money spent you can change the aggregation like the total as sum or average right you can change the aggregation sum average or the maximum money spent or the minimum money spent right so you can do different kind of aggregation and it should be a number so this case these are known as measures okay so now let us move back to our original slide so you can see profit quantity sales discount these all are numbers right and these all can be aggregated like the maximum discount offered or the minimum discount offered to the particular product or what is the maximum profit made by the super store or what is the average profit made by super store so this all field can be aggregated right so these are known as measures okay so now let us 
try to understand what are dimensions so these are the basic properties of dimensions like dimensions should be qualitative like contain some description or add context to your data okay uh, dimensions can be descriptive and dimension can also be a discrete field like suppose in this case i have given you example like measure is a money okay so from this money like suppose you are buying different things like you are buying apple you are buying grapes okay and apple suppose like you are having 100 rupees okay and apple cost you suppose 60 rupees and grapes cost you 40 rupees so this money is distributed in buying two things right apple and grapes okay so this apple and grapes are adding context to your money like this money is is dividing right when this dimensions like this fruits are placed into the picture right so this is these are known as dimensions like the different types of fruits you can say as dimensions okay so i hope you are clear with that so now let us try to map this properties in tableau interface so let me just go back so now here you can see like the categories city customer name like these all are dimensions right and the product name so the when you select the product name so product name will be having description like suppose like you are buying some phone like apple suppose you're buying iphone so iphone 13 will have different like description right what is this or you're buying oneplus phone so it will have different description that the superstore is having right so this is also a dimension now you can see one more field is there that is row id and it is a number field right you can see the hash symbol there but this is this is kept in dimension so this is right or not yeah this is right why this is right because the row id is the unique id or you can say the discrete id which contain all the information of all the customer okay so that's why it is known as dimension so this comes under the third property which i told you like dimension can be a discrete field right and it can also be a number so this is the basic properties of dimension and measures so i hope you are clear with that so now let us move on to another slide so now you might be thinking like these are measures and we have dimensions okay so if you are dragging dimensions to tableau so it is a blue pill right discrete field so you will be thinking like dimension will always produce us an header or label and if we drag the measure field that is represented by the green field like the continuous field right so it will produce us an axis right but that is not the case like dimension can also be represented as an axis and measures can also be represented as header or label it totally depends upon the configuration we want in our dashboard like how we want to present our data that is basically how we want to present the data that is how dimension measures will work but only thing is we need to know like how to do that so now let us try to see both the examples like one example for measure as a discrete and continuous field and one example of dimension as discrete and continuous field so you will get this logic right okay so now let us move on to tableau and try to load a super show data set and try to do one simple activity to represent measure as a continuous and discrete field okay so so now let us go to tableau so you can see the super show data set i have already loaded so i want to drag the order sheet to the tableau interface so i can just drag it here so now let us go to sheet one okay so now i am showing as measures as discrete and continuous field okay so i'll be showing both thing okay so now you can see like the sales is a measure so let me just drag the sales to the row shelf and let me just drag the subcategory to the column shelf okay and just sort it in descending order and swap rows and axis and just change the view to entire view okay and just drag the sales number to the label shelf 
correct so now you can see like this sum of sales is a green field and it is represented as an axis so this is the continuous field so now suppose i want to show sum of sales as a discrete field like a header or a label or as the numbers individual numbers of different subcategory right so how we can do that so what i can do is i can just duplicate this okay and what i can do is i can just rename it and i can just write a uh, discrete sales you can do is so duplicate so now what we can do is we can change the property from here we can click on this drop down and we can change it to convert to discrete right so now if i drag this dimension to the row shelf so you can see now the numbers are popping up right so now this blue pill is producing us in the header or the label like this is the discrete sales and these are the different numbers which is popping up right so now in this particular case i have represented the measure that is the sum of sales as an axis that is seen on the right hand side of the canvas and also as the discrete field right so this proves us the point like we can represent measure as the both like discrete or the continuous field or we can also say it like that like we can represent measure as blue pill or as in the green pill okay so i hope you are clear with that so now let us just do simple formatting so in this particular case like we can just do formatting so just click discrete sales and sales uh, control this and we can go to default properties and we can go to number format and this is the sales number okay and this is the currency so just we can do is we can just change it to currency and just uh two limits and thousands okay so now this is looking nice right so this is how we can represent measure as a discrete or a continuous field right so now let us move on to a second example so now what we want is we want to prove us the second point now we want to represent the dimension as the discrete and continuous field right so now suppose i want to see is like uh, i want to see the yearly or monthly sales suppose so what i will do is i will just drag the sales to the row shelf and just in dire view and it is a year a sum of sales by different years right so now what i want is if i show the filter in the year field so you can see like this dimension like this blue pill is producing us in the header like the year header and the labels and we can only select any one okay we cannot see a continuous field we have to select from this discrete numbers like we can select one number or we can select all the numbers right so now what i want is i want to uh, convert this filter into the continuous filter in this particular case i'm not converting this pill i'm converting the filter i'm converting the blue pill filter so filter also we can do that okay so now suppose i want to change it to continuous so what i can do is i can just click on this drop down and just convert it into the continuous field so once i convert into continuous field and i again show the filter and i can just i just remove this card just remove this blue pill and just control click this new green pill and convert into filter so you can see a bunch of options really available to, available to you so now if i click on range of dates so this will show me the starting date and the end date and i click on apply and once i click on show filter so now you can see now it is showing the continuous filter you can check in that all the dates that are present in this particular data set and you can change it right so this shows like you can represent dimension as a discrete as well as continuous filter so i hope that clear the points and you were able to understand the concept if you have made this far in this particular video then i congratulate you all that you have learned the key difference between dimension and measures and the terminology that are most essential when you are starting your journey with tableau so see you soon in the next video and bye bye